In fact, um, <clears throat> now that the election's over, one of the real um, classic nationwide examples of gerrymandering occurred right down in the first and second congressional districts in 2001. Um, Paul Ryan and, and uh, Tammy Baldwin uh, both had won in 98 the first time, and Paul had won in a fairly reasonably Democratic district, um, historically anyway. Um, and Tammy won um, in, in the second district, which was you know, a huge plus for her here in Madison and a little bit out in the Dane County, but then she had about six other rural counties. So in, in 2000, their first re-election, Tammy, I won't, don't hold me to the exact number, but she won with like 53 or 54 percent, which congressmen don't like those close races, you know. She and was even closer than that. Was it closer than that? It was very close, yeah. Maybe 52 or whatever, yeah. 51. Yeah. And Paul um, got, was re-elected, uh, but with a with a relatively weak opponent. Um, so uh, here, here's where the here's where the here's where the parties do compromise. <laughs> here's where they really work in bipartisan fashion, <laughs> and that is taking care of their own future. Uh, and so what they did was um, Tammy got rid of some of these rural counties that weren't voting for her, and and then they ran her down the west side. It's sort of what they did with Janice Ringhand in the assembly. They ran Tammy down the west side. She never represented anything in Rock County. They ran her down the west side of Rock County with a narrow strip of townships and got her in and gave her Beloit, uh, which, as I pointed out, is a heavily Democratic uh, city still. And then Paul got rid of Beloit because he didn't want it because he, he, he couldn't carry it or count on carrying it. So he, he gets rid of Beloit and they give him southern Waukesha County, uh, which is very, very Republican, of course. And so Tammy's numbers jumped to six, in the 60s, and they say she's a very popular congresswoman because she's getting, in, she's getting in the 60% plus range. Well, reapportionment was a huge factor in that. She did a good job as a congressman and all that stuff too, as did Paul do a good job as a congressman and constituent service and all that. But um, those two made a deal which made both their races non-competitive. Uh, and uh, it happened right here in our, in our midst, right in my home county, right in, right in front, of, in front of me, because Paul didn't want to give up Janesville because he lived in Janesville. That's why they had to run, had to run her, her, her around Janesville to get her down into Bullitt in the, in the bottom of the county. Mm -hmm.